This is the High School Crossfire. Welcome back. Are you introducing a policy in your parameter? We are not trying to introduce a policy. We are here to deal with a problem of control advertising. Did your third speaker say that if it has not worked in the parameter, then it, it will work elsewhere? Let me, let me try to clarify something. We are not dealing with how no, it has worked. No, did they say so? Let me give you an answer such that it can give you a way forward. We are did not they say so or not? Worked. We are here to see its level of control. Is okay. it effective or not? Thank you. Did your first speaker account for the controlled advertisement? It will be in your case? Yes, it did. Do we need... Do we need to put a policy in a place where it is not or where it is? We are here to see medication control, uh, medication advertisement control. We are not here to see how it has worked or not. Should it be controlled or not? It's what we are dealing with. Are you putting up a policy in your parameters to solve a problem or you're just accounting for We are here to control. We are here to control. Uh, thank you, Pano. You're welcome. <laughs> so, Pano. We come to notice from the team affirmatives that they gave a case and gave us only the benefits of what they are talking about. In this case, I asked them, do you solve a problem where, it, where they are or where they are not? Of course, evidentially, we have all seen that they are not solving a problem in their parameters and they have not sought to solve anything in their parameters. They have only told us how beneficial it is, and we are also asking them whether they are introducing a policy and they are only telling us how they are accounting for the workability of a policy in the first place. We also asked them, did you, we asked them whether their third speaker accounted for whether it works elsewhere and what they have done there. So in this case, Pano, we, we do not know how the team affirmative really understood the debate in the first place because a policy in the first place is supposed to come and solve a problem. But in this case, they only accounted for how beneficial a policy can be and where it has worked and the evidences. They have not drawn an excess on how it can be used in countries where it is needed most. And they are, I don't know whether they are solving a problem where it is or where it is not. And that we have asked and they are saying we are not talking about solving of problems. So clearly, team affirmatives, we do not know ex especially what they came to debate about and what they were solving or what not solving. But in our case, we told you. We told you everything that we were supposed to and gave you at least parameters and houses. But in this case, we asked them whether they are putting up a policy in their parameters. They are, but they are not solving any problem. So we are still confused by the team affirmative. Thank you, Pano. Oh, well, thank you so much. I am Izzy Joe, the fourth speaker from the team affirmatives. So I would like to pose some simple questions for you such that maybe you can find it easy to understand today's resolution. My first question is, should advertisement of medicines be made or not? Should be made where necessary. Thank you so much. Could you defer, could you explain to me if the advertisement of, this, of these medicines is going to erase doctors from their jobs? It is not. Well, can you differentiate work and control? Okay. Work and control. There yes, is a just nexus. That, just that work and control. Can you differentiate the two? Controlling, of course, you have censorship and all the rest. And working, you have, especially in this debate, we are talking about doctors having to prescribe medicine for their people. And there is no need for adverse advertisement. Okay, thank you so much. You can take your seat and I elaborate my points here. So, the panel. We are here to make it clear from the questions we pointed out in today's resolution that I would like to clear out. Medicines should be advertised without control. In today's resolution, there's a big misunderstanding on how it has worked, where it has worked, and to our side, whereby should it be controlled or not controlled. From the team affirmatives where I come from, we are trying to show them that we set our parameters in places, USA and New Zealand. We are here to show them that this control has been there. Well, this control has not been there. We are trying to show them that these medicines, there are people who are able to access them. There are people who are able to get the knowledge with the advantages that pull it all out, whereby we show them, promote uh, consumers' education and awareness, fosters healthy competitions and innovation with, within the pharmaceutical industry, empowers patients to take an, an active role in their healthcare. 
from the team negators. They are here to show us that they are here to work out. Should it work there? If it has worked there, why shouldn't they pull it to Uganda? That is not what we are looking up to. Should the medicines be medicines advertisement? Should it be controlled or not? Because we are here to look at the advantages and disadvantages of the advancement of these medicines. We are showing them as team affirmatives that if these people are able to access this, this knowledge, they are able to access uh, this information. For example, if I'm in a certain country and I have flu, and I know there's this, if there's this certain medicine that is going to cure this problem, then I know directly what to deal with. But to the advantage, they are trying to pull us with self-medication, which we are trying to show them that it is not a fact, because doctors are here to pray the law. Trust me, you are going to get this medicine from a pharmacy. You are not going to pick it from the streets. You are going to pick it from a pharmacy. Typically, the pharmacist who is there, he has to prescribe the, the, the medicine. But it all begins with the knowledge of if you have the, if it all begins, if you have the knowledge of a certain medicine, that problem you are dealing with. Thank you so much. Thanks. Oh, sorry about that. So I was trying to also show them. We picked out all this information because for these donations that have found these advert advertisements e extremely effective with the USA, with the platforms of social media, throughout with Instagram, with Facebook, with WhatsApp, all that, and you find ads that are being passed on, people are able to pick all this information. And the limitation that they only have is maybe if the people are not educated, but through those ads, they're able to have that information. This is what we are trying to pull out as team affirmatives. So we are here to have this advertisement of these medicines without control. Because we do believe that if people have this information, they're able to access the solutions they really need in, a, in, the, in the quickest time, not just pulling the ideas from the team negators that they are trying to pull it to another country. That is not what we are trying to do. We are here to have either limited advertisement or not. And team affirmatives are here to show them medicines should be advertised with no control. Thank you so much. I rest my case. Negative three. There is a purpose of cross-examination. They are close-ended question. Negative four. You tell them to substantiate on access while in a speech instead of asking close-ended questions? That affects your style because it shows you do not yet appreciate what you're supposed to do while on stage. You cannot come on stage as the first speaker on team negative and fail to do your role. Because a parameter breach is one of the most detrimental things you can do on stage. Justify. Simple as that. Dedicate 30 minutes of your precious debate time on stage to that purpose. But the fundamental question is, does the government owe a duty of responsibility? Or do medicine manufacturers owe a duty of responsibility? And you said, just as they limit uh, military secrets or state secrets for public policy considerations, that can be considered this side. And I duly rewarded you for that. For the purpose of time, I'll go to my marks. On style, which was very wanting, I gave team affirmative 8, and I gave team negative 10. On content, which I, which I felt should have been substantiated more, I faulted both of you. And based off my normal parameter of 30, I gave team affirmative 27, and team negative 28. For strategy, whereas their strategy would have ideally failed of putting you outside the parameters you're comfortable with, you clearly failed. And therefore, I give them 27 and give you 24, making a total of 59 for team affirmative and 58 for team negative. Thank you so much. To begin, I want to begin by appreciating both teams uh, for putting up such a debate. The first thing I will talk about is uh, this is the rule of procedure. Now, this is outside debate. Let me give you, for example, what we do in the courts of law. When you go to court and you're on the prosecution side, the first thing you're meant to prove to court is that the court that you are before has the jurisdiction. It has like the mandate to handle the case that is before you. Now, if you admit that the court that you are before has the jurisdiction to handle the matter before you, and then you lose the case and you make an appeal, you cannot make an appeal and say the court never had jurisdiction. To, maybe the court never had the power to handle the case that was before it, and yet you considered. What do I mean? There are procedures or there are rules where you can de-justify or you can go against the parameters that your opponents have set. However, now the burden shifts back to you to justify to the judges, to your opponents, to the August House, why you do not agree with the parameters that have been set by team. Affirmative. These are the marks. Style. 
I give them negative, sorry, them affirmative 11, I give them 14%. Why? I've told you discipline. Content, I give you 20, I give them negative 18. Strategy, 27, 23. Totality, team affirmative 58, team negative 55. According to me, as a judge, I give a win to team affirmative. I thank you so much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, personally, I was disappointed because we had a parallel debate. By parallel debate, I mean by the mere fact that a resolution has been set, it means there's a subject matter we are trying to address. Are we together? There has got to be a conjunction of your arguments. Are we together? All the way from the parameters which were talked about to the arguments and to the understanding of the resolution. Are we together? If you come and you give your views, and they also come and give their views at the end of that day. Have you really debated? Have you clashed? Are we together? Meaning the question is, if you are saying we should advertise medicines without control, why? Are we together? You have got to convince us that indeed the only way to actually handle medicines in this manner is to actually advertise them without control. Team negative. If you're saying there should be a level of control in this advancement of medicines. What level of control and why? Are we together? I'm going to base my judgment on the points that you people presented in line with how and why. Are we together? Team affirmative. You came and gave us points in line of the how. Because you told us it has worked in these countries how? I was impressed to note the points of the how, the media, the campaigns. You're trying to show us how this advertisement of medicines without control is actually leading to. I noted that and I merited you for it. Now, on the negative, after that, they had made that as their submission. I was now waiting to hear to what level of control are you talking about and why? Are we together? Now, in line with why they should do that, you came and gave us an example of UPDF, how sometimes information has to be limited. Are we together? Add value to that. Don't just come and tell us that sometimes it is best for the people if some of the information is not us. You get what I'm saying, Team Negative? Substantiate on the why. Show us the value to your point. You pointed out self-medication. I felt I was satisfied personally with how the last affirmer actually answered that. So I give team affirmative 12 for style, 13 to team negative. Content, I gave you 25 each. And this is on the strategy where I varied. I gave team affirmative 25 and team negative 23. Giving a total of 62 to team affirmative and 61 to the negatives. Okay, so for me, in my opinion, I believe both teams could have done better. First of all, in how you both interpreted the resolution. It is a very rich resolution. You could have all used various strategies. At the end of the day, you presented to us inadequate arguments, both teams. It is wide, like the previous people have said, there are various types of medicines. The traditional medicines, which are on a rampant advertisement without control. So, your status quo Okay, all in all, you could have done better. But to go into the points of argument, I'm going to talk about parameter. Team, neg team affirmative set a parameter, which the first af negator should have what you did. Remember yesterday what I told you, what a rebuttal is. Rebut, tell us we do not agree with their parameter. Tell us why. You are a team. From the first speaker to the last speaker, you should be saying the same thing. A for style, I gave team negative 15, and personally, I faulted you on time. I gave you 13. 
For content, I gave both of you 20. Your content was lacking. As much as Team Affirmative had stated their parameter as New Zealand and USA, you did not have enough information to give to us about those countries. You just gave us assumptions. You didn't have sources of information. That means even the information you gave to me, I could not use it. And for Team Negative, you did not have any information, even in the Ugandan parameter that you set. Then, for strategy, I gave 21 for team affirmative and 20 for team negative, totaling up to 56 for team affirmative and 53 for team negative. First and foremost, I have to be sincere. And that's why me, I go like that. I've not been impressed with this debate. Why having a debate and a motion of such a kind of a caliber demands you to put a lot. You know, when we set a resolution, we always look at the depth of a resolution. For the farmer, I don't know, maybe it's the first time of its kind, but also let me speak to the fourth speakers, all of you, whoever even is listening me back in the ground. When you are asking a question, never start a question as if somebody wants to give you an explanation. It will kill your argument. Why? Somebody will take your time, explain a lot of things when you still have time to substantiate whatever you are substantiating. Are you getting my point? Next time, team affirmative, when you set a parameter and you will find that good team which is negating, trust me, they'll crush you by your first speak. So, it's of these grounds that I'm saying I'm not convinced. True to be told that next time go and pull up your socks, come up with good arguments, go and research content. Guys, content, if you see somebody receiving content, 15% out of 40, it's not a good gesture. Are we together? Go to your patrols, they give you more of research and content. Are we together? Thank you. Now, these are my results. I gave style 12 to each of you. Now, really, style, these are marks, you have to get them, all of them, 20. Then decorum, please. They are, this is a debate. It's a formal argument. You don't just use any language. Are we together, team affirmative? At least become co-formal. Somebody to know this is a honorable member talking. Are we together? Good. Content, I gave you 20 each. Imagine 20 content out of 40. Those are 20 marks you are leaving. Then in strategy, I give team affirmative 24. At least I was persuaded. But however much if I'm persuaded, I'm not persuaded enough. And 23 for team negators. So having a 56% for team affirmative and a 55% for team negators. Your tally, all the judgment is a 58.2 for team affirmative and a 56.4 for team negators.